After a camera body and a lens, the next most important thing in a photographer's kit is their accessories. Far from unnecessary frills, camera accessories are actually pragmatic tools that aid in the process of photography and videography. Spare batteries, extra memory cards, lighting, and utilitarian camera bags help users shoot for longer and thereby maximize their chances of getting the best shot. In this video, we will discuss the most basic and essential accessories that a beginning photographer should look into adding to their collection of gear. One, fast prime lens. If you bought your camera with the standard kit lens, it's very likely you'll want to purchase more lenses to increase the range of creative photographic opportunities available to you. There's a bewildering array of camera lenses available which makes choosing your first additional camera lens confusing. However, many professional photographers will tell you that your first lens purchase ought to be a fast prime lens. A prime lens is one that has a fixed focal length I, E, no zoom function. At first, this might seem a severe limitation however the image quality produced by a prime is superior to a zoom lens. This is mainly down to the fact there are fewer glass elements in a prime lens resulting in sharper images, less weight, less complexity and less to go wrong. 2. Batteries, Grips, and Chargers Starting the list with batteries, grips, and chargers. There's nothing worse than heading out for the day, camera in hand only to find that when arriving at the destination the battery's as flat as a pancake. When buying a new camera there's always a charger in the box, but when purchasing pre-owned that's not always the case. It's generally best to get an on-brand charger, such as a Nikon charger for a Nikon camera or a Canon charger for a Canon camera, and ensure it's for the correct battery type too as many models, even within the same brand, have different batteries. However, it may be useful to purchase a charger that can charge up multiple batteries at once. That way, you can use spare batteries, charge them up quickly and head out with enough juice to run all day. 3. On and off camera lighting. As soon as we start taking photography more seriously or shooting in more challenging lighting conditions, artificial lighting can make a huge difference to upping our photography game. There are so many different types of lights that it can all be a bit daunting to newbies but it's pretty straightforward, actually. There are two main types of lighting, continuous and flash. As the name suggests, continuous lighting is any light source that consistently outputs light, like a light bulb or a lamp. Flash lighting sends out one intense burst of light that normally far exceeds the maximum output of a continuous light source and that is useful for freezing moving subjects. 4. Selfie sticks. Like tripods, Selfie sticks are used to hold a camera or smartphone away from the photographer in order to capture a selfie portrait. Some of the best selfie sticks have additional features such as Bluetooth triggering, multiple mounting options for smartphones, cameras, or action cameras, and they vary in length and weight. 5. Tripods and Supports Tripods are manufactured in two main materials, metal alloy and carbon fiber. While metal tripods are heavier they're usually less expensive than carbon fiber tripods, which, despite the cost, are just as sturdy but much lighter. Some tripods have extending columns that help extend the height of a camera while keeping the tripod form factor relatively short, making it easier to carry around. But typically this reduces the tripod's stability. That means in high winds the camera can be more susceptible to motion blur when shooting at longer exposures. Six bags and cases camera bags and cases come in numerous designs and layouts recommending a specific camera bag is hard because each photographer is so unique in their requirements for both comfort and style some prefer to use a shoulder slung bag others want a small case or pouch to put in a larger rucksack while others still want a backpack so they can hike long distance or scramble over terrain with their hands free 7. memory cards Having a camera that can shoot fast or is capable of recording high-resolution video is one thing, but when paired with a slow memory card it often bottlenecks data flow and slows down the camera's ability to shoot. But card speed must be balanced with cost-effectiveness, so it's not just about getting the biggest number but also a good price, too. 8. Wireless Camera Triggers 
There comes a time when taking the picture behind the camera just isn't feasible. Whether it's a self-portrait, group shot that the photographer must be in, or triggering in awkward circumstances, sometimes it's just easier to use a wireless trigger. Otherwise known as a remote shutter release, a wireless trigger also reduces camera shake blur from touching the camera, handy for keeping shots sharp under long exposures. Some also come with inbuilt features such as interval timing or delay modes for time lapse, etc. 9. Polarizing filter. A polarizing filter can reduce or even remove harsh glare from reflections, boost color saturation, and darken blue skies. While some of these benefits can be recreated in post production, it's preferable to get the camera to capture them at the point of taking the photo. This is especially true of removing reflective glare which is sometimes impossible to do in post-production. 10. Memory Card Reader There are several ways to get your photos off your camera. The most common is to connect your camera to your computer using a USB cable supplied by the camera manufacturer. Wi-Fi-enabled cameras allow the wireless transfer of photos to your computer. Some computers have an SD card reader built in so you can simply remove the SD card from your camera and plug it straight into your computer. The most flexible method is to use a memory card reader as it can be used in more situations. For example, when your camera has run out of battery, or the computer you want to transfer photos to doesn't have a built-in card reader, or when using Wi-Fi isn't an option. So that was all about 10 essential camera accessories for photographers. What do you think? Did we miss any? Share your thoughts in the comments section below.